I'm going to show you how I went about making a paint booth. So you can purchase paint booths which are really quite expensive and they do have some features that this one doesn't have. But this actually works really quite well and uh, actually serves many of the same purposes of an official, much more expensive paint booth. Um, but really what you actually need to make that is to have clean filtered intake air which I went about that by creating a, a wall like this with four furnace filters. They're actually doubled up. There's like a pre-filter and then on the other side um, accordion style filter which uh, does a really pretty good job and these are replaceable because they can be slid up that way but I just basically built that out of wood. Let's see kind of how I did that. Um, and then you need an exhaust. Uh, now, ideally that exhaust air would be filtered before you put it out in the environment. Um, but what you absolutely need though, if you're not going to use water-based solvents, is to have an explosion-proof fan. Uh, because if you're using organic solvents, or traditional solvents, whatever you want to call them, those are really flammable. And this motor uh, will not cause an explosion with venting those flammable solvents. So that's a super important component of anytime you're ventilating organic solvents. I also have sealed LED lights, and these aren't all that expensive. The Explosion proof fan motor, those are a little bit more pricey. Those run anywhere from $600 to $1,000, depending upon how much ventilation you want. But one of this size actually works really very well. Uh, but I have good lighting and then the side and ceiling. And this room works really well as a, as a paint booth for much less money than the ones that you can purchase and assemble. Here is the paint booth actually being utilized right now.